What's up guys and welcome back to a brand new video. Uh, so we are actually still in Detroit. This is the second location we've done. Um, so the thing about Detroit is there are a ton of abandoned schools. Uh, so we're actually at the Highland Park High School. It is a former community college sort of thing. They do have an automotive section here, which is really cool. And you'll see why as soon as I find it, there's gonna be something really special that we're gonna be looking for on this Explore. So stay tuned. Okay, so this is the area we've made our way into. Pretty sure this is like the workshop area. Haven't found too much yet. What is this? <laughs> Anything that way? Car. Oh, the car's in there? The, car. yeah. the one on the, the special one? Yes! Just what I was looking for. All right, guys, this is what I was looking for. So not too long ago, the uh, proper people have come here and they saw that this car was on here. I'm guessing this is where they used to teach people how to fix them. And the funny thing is that this thing is unlocked and does move, which is pretty funny. Hey, you should come help me. Uh Rock the car because this thing moves. You can spin the whole car. <laughs> I'm facing this way. It's all good. <laughs> yeah. So funny. Uh, I'm not sure. Hey, stand up. I'm pretty sure it says GM on there. Let's get the camera to look at it. What about the back? That's what I was just going to pull up there. Yeah, so this was how they used to teach people how to operate on cars and stuff. Yeah. Pretty neat. Let's see if we can find this uh, connecting tunnel up here somewhere. Here's the tunnel we're trying to get to, so we can get to the next side. Okay, so we've made it to the other side. I'm actually pretty sure that I heard somebody whistle. Not 100% sure if it was somebody. But the thing is too, here we're in Detroit, so we do gotta kinda watch our asses and watch for squatters because there are quite a few of them. I even noticed on the outside of the building that they had like a bed set up. Oh, look at this. to see just a bunch of desks and stuff whatever that is another classroom that's cool it's like robotic arm yeah over here. I don't know anything about machines, so don't really know what's what. And there's more. <laughs> what's all this stuff? Oh, this is like some sort of like medical room, I think. 
syringes. Gas safety system. Oh. Oh. Like capsules for pills. Oh. It's like a oxygen mask. These are neat. Yeah. Not sure what that used to be. Another room in here with a uh, wheelchair and a whole bunch of. Oh, it's like a machine in here. Oh, there's an actual respirator machine in here. Oh, wow. Yeah. What? The saws? No, Saw bench? Sewing machines. Oh, these were sewing machines? I can. Pretty sure, yeah. unless they were saws. Because I'm just thinking with my. No, I think I think these saws? were saws. Oh. Okay. Yeah. They were something. Wonder what was in here. I don't know what that machine is. If anybody, you, if any of you guys know what it is in the comments, let me know down below. Yes. Another shop class over here. Yeah, I could have sworn I heard somebody like make a whistling sound. Quick, uh, peeling paint for a peeling. Yeah. Peeling paint. I don't know if it went in there. This school is massive, and we've only done like one small piece of it so far. <laughs> Oh wow, this is cool. Neat, right? Mm -hmm. 
As a result of the incredible growth of Detroit's auto industry, the steady increase in population in Detroit and Highland Park was met with a steady demand for more city services, especially schools. Highland Park High School and College was a direct result of that growth. Highland Park School opened in September of 1915 with 850 students enrolled. That number grew in 1916 to 1,000. As the enrollment over the years continued to grow rapidly, the school quickly expanded and added many programs over the years, eventually expanding into a community college. At one point, the gym had even caught fire due to an arson prank, and the gym was destroyed but eventually rebuilt. By 1995, the city was experiencing many financial problems and eventually closed. The school did eventually reopen as a career academy for young adults offering programs in nursing, dental hygiene, and auto repair. In 2001, Ford Motor Company even offered their own program to teach people automotive repair. Still, the school continued to experience budgetary problems and finally closed forever in 2009. They did consider trying to reopen the school but found it way too expensive to repair. Let's head into the abyss. That's definitely not the front entrance, or is it? You guess here would have been uh, their display case. There would have been another one there. This thing, oh man, I it, uh, so somebody, I think other explorers came and actually put this in here. It lights up. See the battery packs? The amount of dust. I know, orbs, come on, orbs. Yeah, they're orbs, guys. Look at all those orbs. Just up ahead. Oh, it's so cool. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that piano works anymore. you're gonna get it to stay open. <laughs> oh, you got it. <laughs> it's a 
if you hear something slam, it's just gonna be that door. Right. And there it goes. Oh, it didn't slam. Nice of you. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that building's abandoned too. Time to head back down. You know it's kind of messed up though? How like low this is. Yeah. Like imagine you had just like a bully that didn't like you or something, and just, oh, just right. push him right over. Done, baby. right? Holy desks and chairs. Oh, now I know what you were hearing. Sorry? Um, maybe we'll go to the other side first and then go up. Uh, I think this is the gym. <laughs> you got you got to do it again. <laughs> oh, oh, so close. <laughs> no, almost. Balls flat. Oh yeah, finally. And he goes again. Oh. Got the running track up there. There's like two levels of running track. That's so awesome. That's neat. Need up here though. Mm -hmm. This is fresh. Notice Whoa. that? Hmm? This is fresh. Yeah. Holy crap, look at this room. Jeez. <gasps> Tracks keep going.
someone's homework. Some more classrooms. There's a lecture hall, which is kind of cool. Didn't film this area yet, so there's a few more things on my way out. Everybody's homework is everywhere. Okay guys, so uh, I kinda gotta poop, so this is the end of the video. Uh, put a like on this video, as it really helps out the channel. Subscribe if you're new, and you wanna see more cool stuff. We're still in Detroit, so there probably should be quite a few more videos. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Love you. Bye-bye.